My last toothpick videos went pretty viral. It's important that the toothpick lies on the nail. Now all you have to do is rotate your wrist and flick out the toothpick. That last part about rotating your wrist before you throw feels a lot like winding up before you throw a punch. I bet we don't even have to do that. Feels good to be right. Now that I've proved my point, this technique is trash. Let me explain. The major issue here is that we're six inches away. At this distance, we shouldn't be missing at all. I could literally just stab someone with a toothpick and that would be way more effective. Now, this isn't to say that you can't do this at a distance. You definitely can. But after hundreds of attempts and without deeper instruction, this technique is at its limit. Cool as this thing looks, it's just not accurate. Thing is, I don't think it's just me. The original creator was borking his shots in this video. After days of practice, this only hits about a third of the time. But it's easy to be the guy who talks a lot of smack and doesn't propose any solutions. So the real question is, can we do better? What you're seeing right now is slow motion footage of a technique that is 70% accurate from seven feet away. But there are a lot of different ways to throw a sharp stick. So let's figure out which approach is the winner. So if you guessed that turning your wrist was the secret to accuracy and power all along, you are still wrong. This technique is awful, and I am annoyed that I had to try it out. One out of ten. The best way to explain this technique is to show you what an atlas does. Here it is. Your finger holds the arrow in position. You make your aim and you throw the arrow. Okay, first things first. I want you to imagine that this toothpick is the arrow that you're going to be hurling. You're going to want to put your hand in this position, cradling it between three fingers. The throw itself is similar to how you would bowl or throw a dart in that you want to make sure that your movement only follows one plane of motion. For me, sometimes it's helpful to lock my elbow into a right angle and then almost do like a karate chopping action figure kind of motion with my arm. I'm rotating mostly at my shoulder, but I'm also allowing for some follow through. At the very end, you're going to be releasing this toothpick with your other fingers and driving it forward with your index finger towards your target. Now this looks and sounds more complicated than it actually is. Two days of practice and it looked like this. If there's one thing that I learned this session, it's this. Every practitioner is gonna have their own favorite technique and their own biases, and that's completely fine. But you gotta bear that in mind when you're learning something new. The thing that you're being taught, even if it's presented as the answer, is almost certainly going to be something that you need to adjust so it fits your personal style and your body. And that includes everything that you learned here. Take your time, go easy on yourself, and give yourself permission to make mistakes. I promise you'll make it. If you learned something, got a good laugh, or otherwise enjoyed the video, consider leaving me a like or a comment. With your help, we're gonna make this channel something amazing. In the meantime, I guess that's about our time. So, thank you for being here, thank you for watching. I appreciate you immensely. Until next time, peace. Subscribe if you want me to make more. <laughs>